What are the problems for junior doctors and rotor gaps? Over the last few months, the JDC has received a number of reports from junior doctors around the country that are working in rotors where there are gaps because people have either moved on to other jobs or that those posts have never been filled. This is causing a significant amount of problems for our members because obviously patient care and safety needs to be maintained and therefore the um, extra duties that have not been covered needs to have a doctor to be there. Because trusts are struggling to appoint an appropriately qualified locum, the juniors that are in post are being pressurised to cover these posts this, and these are not complying with the agreed terms and conditions of service about how to cover these posts and junior doctors are not being remunerated appropriately for the extra hours um, that they're doing. Do you know how prevalent this problem is across the country? We've received reports from around the country, but I unfortunately can't give you a figure at this moment in time. However, the BMA is conducting research at the moment to try and quantify uh, exactly how prevalent, how prevalent this problem is around the country. What is the BMA doing about this situation? The BMA is approaching this problem from a, a number of angles. We need to highlight this problem and that's important that we highlight it to our members so they can inform us where this is becoming an issue. But more importantly we need to highlight these to the relevant authorities and bodies that are involved with trying to take this forward. And with that in mind we've been speaking with the Department of Health to ensure that they're aware of how big and how serious a problem this is. We've been highlighting it to the MMC Programme Board as well because of the issues regarding why this problem is occurring. I've also been involved with briefing uh, members of parliament and peers uh, regarding the issues around this and about how this is causing a significant impact to the working conditions of junior doctors and to junior doctor morale, as well as the impact this is having on patient care and patient safety. The BMA is also concerned with trying to ensure that we can try and find a solution for this and more importantly how we can advise our members on how to deal with this problem. With that in mind, the Junior Doctors Committee has produced some guidance that is available to all members to, on how to deal with this problem. So what your um, requirements are within your contract about covering gaps, especially what happens when these gaps are long-term gaps that the trusts are not looking to fill, and as well as regarding appropriate remuneration for this. And this guidance is available on the BMA website and by calling Ask BMA. I would also ask junior doctors if they're in any way concerned that they're being asked to work extra hours, being pressurised to cover these duties, or to feel that they're not being adequately remunerated for this, to get in touch with the BMA. And that can be done either via Ask BMA or that they can email the JDC directly at info.jdc at bma.org.uk so that we can take these problems forward and find them a solution. As a junior doctor, what do I do if I'm being pressurised to work extra hours? It's fundamentally wrong for any junior doctor to feel pressurised to be working extra hours. What we would like to do for junior doctors to do is to ensure that they get in touch with us at the earliest possible opportunity to highlight the problems that they are having so that we can try and help solve them and give them the appropriate advice that they require. That advice is available in the guidance document that we produced that is available on our website and that can also be available through Ask BMA. I would also ask them to get in touch with us at JDC via the email address info.jdc at bma.org.uk so that we can take um, their problems forward and this can either be done through their local office or can be done nationally depending on the scale of the problem. But it is important that junior doctors inform us so that we can solve this problem for them and it is something that we're very aware of and we're very keen to um, solve and make sure that our, our members feel that they're being appropriately supported. As a junior doctor, how do I make my voice heard within the BMA? Junior doctors and the grassroots members are vital for how the BMA function. The views represented by the UK JDC and the views that I represent are the views of the junior doctors that get in touch with us. They can do this in a number of ways. Each junior doctor is a member of their regional junior doctors committee and this is open to both uh, members and non-members and the details are available on the BMA website. They have elected representatives and the contact details for them are available as well 
uh, as well as the local office which provides the support. They can find out what the JDC is doing about various issues by looking at our website and there is the email address available as well which is info.jdc at bma.org.uk where they can feed in their views and opinions directly to us uh, at the JDC and by registering on the website they're also able to pick up the mass emails which we send out which um, we do regularly to highlight the work that we're doing on behalf of junior doctors over a wide variety of issues.